Hey everyone, happy Friday. Jungi here for another episode of Frenchie's Nook. Well, you've made it through the week, and uh, congrats to everybody. And it uh, looks like a beautiful weekend coming up. Looks hotter than heck, but uh, you know what? It's summer. Can't complain. Because in the winter, we'll be complaining it's too cold. Too much snow. So you know what? Take it as it is. Enjoy the summer. It only lasts a few good months, so enjoy it as it is. Well, not too much on the agenda tonight. What I want today, sorry, what I want to talk to you about was the importance. I talked the other day on PTSD, the truth behind the smile, and I was talking about the importance of not so much telling people how you feel, but the reverse effect. People asking, hey, how are you? How are you doing? Do you need help? Do you need anything that I can help you with? Is there anything I can help you with? few good questions that you can ask to uh, to see if anybody needs help. Because you know what? Going back to, you know, last week and the whole Anthony Bourdain, Bourdain um, suicide as well as a Kate Spade suicide, everybody steps back and goes, wow, we didn't know. You know what? No, we didn't know. Unfortunately, though, some people with um, severe depression, you'll never know. And uh, that's why I like to uh, tag my slogan or tag my page um, with the name that I do have. Because you know what? The truth is behind the smile. If you can put on that fake smile, as these two, you know, these two people did. And uh, one, one day, you know, it could just catch up with you. If you don't have the right tools and you don't have the right means to work at it and uh, to help yourself out, then it's going to catch up to you one day. And uh, unfortunately it did. And yes, we're hearing more and more. But uh, today was also a big week here in Canada. Uh, Bill C-211 passed um, three readings through Senate. So uh, it's pretty much on its way now. It's been cleared through House of Commons. It's been cleared through Senate. And uh, sorry, here was just something on the phone I'm trying to get off. So yeah, it's ready to go. So uh, congrats to uh, MP Todd Doherty and all of his hard work as well as his staff's hard work in getting this bill uh, introduced last year in the House of Commons and now this year. Um, all said and done pretty much and uh, it's past Senate. So here we go with, uh, with pretty much no amendments to it at all. So as per, away we go and uh, hopefully we can get some more awareness out there and some more help for uh, the sufferers of PTSD, you know, military um, military police, fire, ambulance, and uh, dis EMS dispatching and stuff as well. So those people really need the help. Um, don't get me wrong, there are others, I understand. But um, Bill C-211 starts off um, with emergency responders. And uh, we'll see where it goes from there. Um, do we all need help? Do all mental um, health associations throughout the throughout Canada need help, need assistance? Of course they do. They need the government's assistance. They need some funding so that they can allot, you know, they can allot some time and they can allot some different resources to these people to get more help out there. And uh, yeah, let's let's end the, you know, let's let's cut back on the the suicide. They just seem to be happening more and more, and it's awful. It's an awful feeling. But um, these people are tired, and uh, they've fought and fought and fought, and they just can't fight that fight anymore. So. That's about where I'm going to leave you tonight. Um, have a great weekend, everybody. I hope uh, everybody's got some plans. Uh, to all the fathers out there, happy Father's Day. I hope you uh, have a great Sunday as well, and we'll talk to everybody. I will be back here for another episode of Frenchie's Nook Friday, next Friday night, and over on uh, Bunker Gear for Your Brain, and then it'll be over on my page as well, PTSD, The Truth Behind the Smile. And uh, you can catch me Tuesdays and Thursdays over at PTSD, The Truth Behind the Smile at 9 o'clock. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.